And we are live. Hello, 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 team. My name is Corey, founder of the Purpose Driven Career Group. So happy that you are here and we are all together helping each other's careers expand, right? That's the whole purpose of this, of this group is to help you. And so I'm continuing on with our um, feeling stuck in your career, um, different reasons why you might be feeling that way. And so last week we were talking about you've stopped growing and we came up with a few different strategies on how to keep growing no matter what your situation is. This week I wanted to talk about um, another reason that you might be feeling stuck is that you don't get along with your boss or your manager. Now, when you don't get along with your boss or manager, life can feel like hell, right? <laughs> your nine to five feels miserable. I've been there, believe me. Um, and there are several reasons why this might be happening, actually. Um, you know, maybe it's a personality clash. Um, maybe they lack people skills. I've definitely had a boss like that before. Um, some could be hot tempered. Um, some might work you to the bone, right? And there could be another one, um, which we're going to talk about today, is the management style. Okay, so do you know the different types of management styles there are out there, right, um, that are going to suit your personality and your work style? Um, so just to give you an example, there's about, I mean, I've been doing research on this forever, and there's, you know, four, seven, 10 different management styles. So just to give you an example, there's coaching management style, leadership style, there's visionary, there's servant, autocratic, laissez-faire, democratic, pace setter, transformational, transactional, bureaucratic, okay? So those are, are um, the 10. And so I was actually just speaking to a client yesterday um, who, about this topic, and she just got promoted into a new manager role where she's actually managing people underneath her. And so this is a first for her. She hasn't been trained by her company, so she's just kind of flying by the seat of her pants. Um, and she's not really sure what kind of leader she is yet. And so she is also managing um, younger people. So she's 27 and she's managing um, you know, new employees who this is their first job out of college. So she's getting, getting a lot of frust frustration, spinning her wheels, not exactly sure, nothing is working for her. So I said, well, it might be helpful for you to understand what kind of leader you are. You know, naturally, what kind of leader are you? And then what kind of leader do they need to thrive? So really kind of asking them, or giving them um, the different leadership styles so she understands how best to work with them. So that's one example in the real world. Um, but so for you, understanding what kind of leadership style that you thrive under. So let's say you hate, um, you know, having like your manager checks in on you uh, frequently, like daily, right? and you're constantly being observed, you're being corrected, you're being micromanaged. And so if this is the case and this is not something where you feel, you know, that it meshes with you, you you might not work best under an autocratic or authoritarian type leader. Okay? Or maybe you like to work independently and you have a manager that trusts you, you trust your skills, your creative instincts, um, then you might thrive under a laissez-faire type um, leadership style. Or maybe you like more collaboration, coming up with conclusions and decisions together where your opinions are heard and are taken into consideration. So this is a more democratic style leadership. So I just want you to think about this. So the first thing that you can do is to understand um, what kind of management style that you thrive under, okay? And so once you understand that, you can kind of start coming up with ideas and solutions that might um, help you have a better working relationship with your boss. So think about that, think about some solutions, and the next step would be for you to um, 
you know, set up a meeting with your boss and come up um, and, and present your, your ideas. So let's say your boss is a micromanager, AKA uh, autocratic, and you prefer to be more collaborative, um, democratic, right? And, you know, your boss wants you, he wants to check in with you, him or her um, every day. And this is not working for you because this stifles the way that you want to work. This stifles your creativity and it's really reflecting your, um, you know, negatively on your confidence. So maybe a solution would be, hey, let's not check in every day because this is really stifling my creativity. I think it would be more uh, useful and beneficial to me and you if we had a check in every other day or, you know, at the end of every week, whatever that is for you. Um, so make a meeting, present the ideas, see how it is taken, you know, and 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 work with that. So um, take note of what happens over the next few weeks and see if there's any changes. And if it's for the better, great, continue doing what you're doing. If you don't see, um, you know, much change over the next couple of weeks, set another meeting up with your boss and, you know, let like dive into the data, like what happened? How can we make it better? Um, and if all else fails, you know, um, look at this as a career development opportunity uh, where you've taken the initiative to make things better, to communicate with your boss. This is going to be uh, great no matter what, right? And um, you're going to have a clear understanding of when you're moving forward, whatever's next, you're going to be knowing what qualities to look for in your boss. So this is one way to, you know, help you get along with your boss a little bit more and it's going to give you more purpose and it's going to um, you know help you in your communication skills so it's a win win no matter how you look at it okay uh, so that is my tip for you today and one way that you can get unstuck from this and if you're feeling stuck in your career and not exactly sure about you know your boss and how you can make improvements or if you're wanting to make a change and not exactly sure what change that is i invite you to book a call with me 15 minutes and i can work out if or how i can help you and i'll post that link below this video and my name is corey reminding you to take action feel the fear and do it anyways